Kilbride from Ball State University, and I'm going to show you how your students can use Arbor Scientific's constant velocity cars to explore relative speed. Not only are the constant velocity cars good for investigations of constant motion, they're also useful for investigating relative speeds. I replaced one of the C cells in one car with an aluminum spacer. That will give it a substantially lower speed than the car powered by two C cells. Students can find the speeds of each car the normal way, and then we can get the relative speed as the two cars approach each other, as the faster car runs away from the slow car, as the faster car catches up to the slow car, and as the two cars move away from each other. In order to determine the relative speed as the two cars approach each other from opposite directions, students simply need to place the cars a designated distance apart. Both cars are turned on at the same time and the cars are timed until they meet. That distance that they close divided by the time that it takes is the relative speed as the two cars approach each other. We can also investigate the relative speed as the faster car runs off and leaves the slower car behind. In order to do this, we can begin with the two cars a specified distance apart. Both cars are turned on and released at the same time. Students time the cars for some specified amount of time and note the positions of the cars at that later time. We then take the change in distance the cars are apart divided by that amount of time to get that relative speed. In order to determine the relative speed as the faster car approaches the slower car from behind, we start out with the two cars a specified distance apart, in this case 50 centimeters. Students will turn on and release both cars at the same time and stop the timer when the faster car meets the back end of the slower car. In this case, the relative speed will be the starting distance, 50 centimeters, divided by that amount of time. In order to investigate the relative speed as the two cars move away from each other, we can start out with the cars a designated distance apart, in this case 40 centimeters. Both cars are turned on and released at the same time, and then students note the positions of the cars some specified time later. That new distance is measured, and the change in distance divided by the time that it took for the cars to reach those positions will be the relative speed. I hope you found this video helpful, and don't forget to visit arborside.com for complete lab instructions and student worksheets.